Good morning. My name is Alan Sheen. Um, I will be giving a presentation this morning on behalf of Charles Robertson from Winter Service Solutions. And what I'll be looking to cover in the next 15 minutes or so uh, is our solution uh, to deal with the increase in active travel and the need to keep uh, cycleways and pedestrian areas in particular uh, open for business uh, at all times with the most cost effective anti-icing and de-icing solutions. Um, I will be looking in detail at the elements that have been adopted by a London borough uh, for this winter and hopefully explain how those various elements fit together. Following my presentation, uh, my colleague William will uh, give a presentation on another aspect of uh, winter efficiencies, again, that ties in with the same uh, London borough. So if I can start, I'm going to be talking today about dealing with particularly the winter maintenance on cycleways, particularly those that are segregated from the main uh, carriageway. If I move on to my next slide. Um, through the current COVID crisis, and, and to be honest, before that, local authorities were significantly increasing uh, the availability of, of ways of, of encouraging active travel, uh, including cycling and uh, more walking. Um, if those areas are to be kept safe and free of ice during the winter, then new techniques will be required to make sure that can be done safely and, and effectively. You can see in this photograph here, I know the guy's not wearing a helmet, but uh, otherwise, um, you'll see that the cycleway that he's on is segregated from the main carriageway. And if, uh, as has been traditionally done, uh, the gritter is turned up to spread a little bit more granular salt into that area, you wonder whether it's actually going to make it, and if any salt does land in that cycleway, as a solid uh, matter, solid particles, is it going to be effective? It probably isn't. Um, and as we see the growth of these segregated areas, often with very tight restrictions and that, a solution is required to ensure that they're safe and available to the public uh, at all times. Um, have your plans um, been adjusted to look at these areas? Um, as uh, more cycling has been introduced, um, I know it's getting you know into the start of the season and that, but uh, I believe there's something and some elements of this can be taken now to allow you to be more effective in your winter treatments. A bit of background for you first. Charles and I have worked together for many years at the salt mine in Winsford and uh, for many years now have been working together on modular sheeting systems to keep salt dry, uh, on liquid de-icers, uh, where my background lies back in the 1980s uh, when I was once a chemist in, in BP developing alternative and environmentally friendly de-icers and we have partnered with Vale Engineering in Yorkshire um, to look at the most effective equipment available uh, to apply these solutions. I'll also be showing how we're now um, uh, introducing new technology to assist in your decision making and give you a fuller picture of what's actually happening out um, on your on your cycleways, paved areas and, and roadways of course. We're looking at a turnkey solution here with four key elements that together can give you an effective package. The first of these elements is the Pathway KA liquid anti-icer de-icer that we launched a few years back and has been widely adopted um, for areas where um, rapid de-icing is required, where there's environmental sensitivity and where corrosion may be an issue. Just to talk a little on liquid de-icers, it really is saying you've got a product there that's ready to go. It's not like granular salt waiting to absorb moisture from the atmosphere or the road network before it's effective. You've got a product that's supplied at the right concentration, ready to be used and to be effective from the off. We can supply our acetate in uh, IBCs of 1000 litres or in bulk quantities, and they can be applied in a variety of means. I'm going to talk here about the most effective way of applying them for a cycleway network. The key thing with our product, Pathway K8, based on acetate technology, is that it's non-corrosive. 
to the metals and other materials found on the highway and cycleway network. A lot of products have been tried and offered. People are looking at liquid brines. They're looking at brines with uh, additives that supposedly halve the corrosion of that brine. Half the corrosion is not non-corrosive. It is still very aggressive. This material, I'll just show you here, steel nail in water from about three weeks ago. I started corrosion within a matter of hours. Same nail, same time in our Pathway KA solution. No sign of corrosion at all. Has passed all the airfield and aircraft testing uh, requirements um, and is absolutely ideal for use in this environment. Degrades naturally, um, leaving no residues. Is clean. It's used at airports, on pedestrian air, pedestrian areas where it's not dragged in to the airport like salt would be. Uh, it's absolutely an ideal product for this application. Instant effect and long lasting. Um, because it has a much lower freezing point depression than brines, uh, can be effective for two or three days if there's not significant precipitation. Because even small amounts are going to be much more effective than your normal salt brine. Turning to the tractor, the applicator, this is from Vale Engineering, it's a Kabutu tractor, 1.3 metres in width only, uh, absolutely ideal to access these restricted areas and the street furniture uh, you will find on a, on a cycleway. At the back it carries a 400 litre uh, tank with its own pump system so it can refill itself from IBCs. Um, through the route. Uh, you'll get about 22 kilometres at our normal application rate, linear kilometres from one 400 litre tank load. Very accurate spray system, Vail have worked on this over the years, um, can be adjusted to different widths and can be fitted with a tracking system to show where and when and at what quantity the spray was applied. At the front of the vehicle is a snow brush specifically designed to remove snow and, and to clear the way. We've looked at various options over the years for applicators. We've looked at uh, quad bikes, we've looked at trailed solutions, and by far and away, this is the most effective means of getting that uh, material down and removing any accumulated snow. It's available for purchase or for lease through Vail. Um, and we believe it is the most effective solution out there at the minute. Now, before deciding whether you need to apply your de-icer or not, you really need some information about the temperatures on your cycleways and your pedestrian areas. Um, because of the nature of their build, generally cycleways will tend to freeze before the main carriageways and may stay colder for longer. And I, I believe that very few people have any forecast sites or sensors that may cover their cycleway network. So when do you decide when you need to uh, uh, apply the, uh, the anti-ISA? Well, we offer now a embedded road temperature sensor. Um, very simple, no wires, simple core fitted with mastic and communicates through the mobile network um, to give you warning through a web portal of when the temperature um, has dropped say below two degrees and is falling it can be configured in, in many ways very simple very cheap very cost effective could also be used to fill in gaps in your carriageway network to give you a completer picture uh, of, of what's going on but an ideal way of uh, getting a, a trigger to know when you need to carry out your de-icing action so moving on now to our case study, which revolves around the London Borough of Waltham Forest in North London, um, where they have for many years now been using a drop spreader to treat pedestrian areas. They have recently uh, introduced many what they call mini Holland schemes, where you've got shared usage between pedestrians, uh, cyclists and, and, uh, and drivers, but are restricted in terms of how you actually get to those uh, areas um, to treat them in winter. Um, what they have looked at um, is to combine the elements that uh, we discussed earlier, um, particularly now 
that there's uh, an increase in active travel and an increase in cycleways uh, through their through their borough. What they have purchased for this coming season of 2021 is a Vale tractor, as shown in the previous slide, uh, with 400 litre tank, snow brush. You have a, a comfortable heated air conditioned cab with, with radio making it good for the operators. And as I said before, the ability to reload and recharge the tank off its own pump um, if you're part way through uh, around. Although, as I said, that, that so a tractor will cover 22 kilometers at uh, a normal spread rate. They're purchasing the Pathway KA liquid deicer in 1000 litre IVCs uh, and they have installed two of the road surface temperature probes um, that we discussed earlier. I believe what they're doing is to, to compare <coughs> on, a, on the same site uh, the road surface temperature between the cycleway pedestrianized area and the adjoining carriageway to look at the, the differences in the thermal characteristics of those two areas um, and to aid their their decision making so that concludes my presentation for today if you do have any questions uh, please feel free to to contact myself <coughs> or for the actual product sales of, of the items that we've talked through the, this morning uh, please contact Charles Robertson uh, on the numbers, and the email shown on the uh, the final slide here. Uh, any questions we'll pick up in the question and answer session. I'll do my best to handle any issues that have, have come up there. But many thanks for your attention and I hope to see you in the real world sometime in 2021. Many thanks. Good morning ladies and gentlemen, my name is William Sheen. I'm a project and safety manager at Eurodome Limited. I'm here to talk to you about saving salt with sustainable salt barn design and maintenance. There are many salt piles around the UK which are uncovered, leaving the salt to the elements which means a loss of product from leaching which can be as much as 20% of the entire stockpile, costing you money and also polluting local waterways. Leaching also reduces the amount of effective deicer within the stockpile. It washes away the salt, leaving behind the clay marl, which is not an effective deicer. Also, leaving the salt pile out to the elements increases the moisture content above 4% within the pile and can cause issues with underspreading and clumping within the gritter, not allowing it to spread effectively across the carriageway. From this slide, you can see a 10,000 ton pile of salt with a value of 300,000 pounds. Being exposed for too long may cause this pile to be scrapped. With this cost, a Eurodome could pay itself back within one and a half years. An effective way to stop this is to cover it with a salt barn. Eurodomes are constructed from a timber roof and concrete walls. The timber is sourced from a sustainable supplier in Europe and is an ideal material to store salt as it does not corrode and it will get harder over time. The unique design of a Eurodome means it is lightweight with no internal structures. This requires minimal foundations to support the building and can even be placed on existing suitable concrete slabs. In the last year we have been looking into an alternative concrete mix which provides the same strength but reduces the carbon footprint by using waste products from the steel industry. By using a more carbon neutral concrete, the Eurodome is a very sustainable building. By using timber and concrete and looking after these buildings, they can last 30 plus years. From this slide, you can see the roof is a modular panel system, which allows quick and accurate building on site with minimal waste. We offer a full turnkey service from ground and pad works to the concrete walls, the fabrication and installation of the timber roof. The timber roof is manufactured here in the UK by our experienced team that have installed the 160 plus barns in and around the UK and are now based in a factory near Bristol. 
With this facility, we have brought up several trainees who understand the building from fabrication to installation on site. This facility has also allowed us to fabricate and export roof kits to Poland and Lithuania, where salt barns have been constructed using our designs to store salt in those countries. All salt barns are checked and designed for site-specific conditions. We do this by using a finite element modelling, which tests the roof for any wind and snow loadings. From this model, the walls and foundation can then be designed to, for any additional loads and also the salt pile required by the client. The following slides are examples of builds that have, we have recently completed. In 2018, we completed this barn for Croydon Council. The barn was 19 metres wide by 35 metres long in a barrel shape. This was built to fit an area that was long and narrow. The Eurodome has a few alternative shapes which allow it to fit in any area on site and still keep the required salt storage. For this build, we had to extend the pad out the back slightly to keep the 4,000 tonnes required by the client. And we also assisted in planning applications by producing 3D models and imposing that on site pictures and on location plans. This next slide is one example of the two barns we recently built for Northumberland County Council. They were both constructed one after the other. In this slide, you can see the main roof is nearly complete with the final section being lifted into place by crane to complete the dome shape. This next slide, you can see a large strategic store built for Powys County Council, also in 2019. This barn was 36 metres in diameter and held around 7,000 tonnes. We provided a full turnkey service from groundworks to new pad and integrated that into our dome walls, as well as drainage required by the client. In this slide, you can see an example of an even larger building, which is 46 metres in diameter, which holds 20,000 tonnes of salt for Highways England in a strategic store in Oa. This shingle pattern was required by planners to blend the larger dome into the environment. The design of the dome also allows it to blend in well as the cross-sectional area at the top of the barn is a lot less than that of a similarly tall rectangular building. As well as shingle patterns, we can also add rainwater harvesting to any barn to collect for grey water use and also add in solar panels to produce electricity for the site. On this next slide you can see we do not just deal with timber Eurodomes, but also cheaper fabric buildings as well. I'll deal for small and large stores. Shown here, we assisted in the design of the large 55,000 tonne store for Highways England on the M1. These barns are galvanised steel trusses resistant to salt corrosion and a hard wearing UV stable PVC to cover the salt. These style of buildings are modular and can be extended to fit any size site increasing or decreasing salt storage where necessary. These barns are fully engineered for the site and based on the customer's requirements. They are also ideal for short term contracts as they are able to be built on Lego block walls as shown in the next slide and then relocated if required. All it needs doing is the sheet removing, the trusses unbolting and the wall dismantling and it can be then reassembled in a separate location. Recently we have installed these kind of barns in London Borough of Redbridge and London Borough of Waltham Forest. With all these barns they are working buildings and will sometimes be struck by machines and tippers and in extreme weather shingles can come loose and the PVC covering can become damaged. The best way to look after these barns are regular and quick visual inspections around the barns to pick up any small issues and get them addressed quickly. If these small issues are seen too quickly, they can prevent further problems causing more damage and a more costly repair further down the line. Eurodome can perform these repairs from small in situ patches to larger panel replacements. So we have access to all the old cut sheets and designs for all the barns currently within the UK. We also offer the repairs to the PVC fabric barns as well, from small patches to replacement sheets. Keeping salt covered and the barns in good order will keep the salt in prime condition to spread on the roads. 
Keeping the salt in these conditions allows accurate pre-treatment additions to the salt and the correct coverage required to keep the road de-iced and safe for the public. With all this, it will also save money by not under or over treating on the run out and not losing products to the environment. If you have any further questions, please feel free to contact me on the email and phone number provided. Thank you very much. Hello, my name is Steve Sinnott, Sales Manager, Econ Engineering. Econ is a second generation family run company which has been in operation for over 50 years. Econ is well known for providing highway maintenance vehicles and in particular the familiar yellow gritters you see across the country during the winter season. Econ has a long history of product innovation and we often deliver tailor-made solutions for our customers and believe that they play a vital role in everything that we build. We're always looking at ways to improve and enhance the product range to our customers and therefore delighted with our latest innovation, which is Econ's first towable liquid de-icer. After a number of conversations with customers, we understood there is a growing obligation to keep cycleways and footpaths ice-free. And whilst there are products available, it is always a challenge to treat these effectively and efficiently. Now the trailer can access narrow routes easily, making it ideal for small areas, but in particular cycleways and footpaths. The trailer can be towed by any utility, plant vehicle or 4x4, which is a two ton tow weight capability. A very important key feature of this trailer is that it has a 900 litre tank capacity which can provide up to 100 kilometres of route treatment depending upon spread width and application rates. There is no need for the vehicle to go back to the depot to refill and this keeps resources to a minimum and ensure, ensures maximum efficiency. Now the liquid is applied using the trailer's distribution nozzles which are powered by the axle driven hydraulic system. The trailer also has adjustable flow, patterns and spray widths which allow for customised performance which can be adapted for different applications. Thank you very much for listening. I hope you enjoyed the day and we look forward to speaking to you soon. If you need any more advice, please don't hesitate to speak to myself, Kevin Yale or David Carswell. Thank you. Hi, I'm David Carswell, Sales Manager at Equan Engineering. The demand for cycleways to provide safe routes for cyclists across the UK is on the increase. A factor influencing this change is the £85 million investment to improve 200 sections of highways across the UK. Ensuring cycle routes and pathways are safe during the winter months can be a problem for authorities. There are many social and economic benefits to providing winter service in those areas. Previously, applying de-icer to those routes has been difficult due to a number of factors. The Econ Towable Trailer Liquid De-Icer Sprayer addresses many of these. The Econ Trailer can be quickly and conveniently hitched to any plant vehicle, 4x4 or quad bike with a 2 tonne towing capability. Our compact trailer sprayer makes accessing narrow routes easier, meaning it is ideal for pavements, footways, cycle paths and bridges. The Econ Trailer has an impressive 900 litre capacity. This provides up to 100 kilometres of route treatment, which eliminates the requirement for a backup refill vehicle and ensures maximum time is spent on the route. The Econ Trailer has precision distribution nozzles, which are powered by the trailer's axle-driven hydraulic system. The spray pattern and flow are adjustable and provides precise liquid nozzles due to the migrated technology from the agri-chemical industry. The adjustable flow, patterns and spray widths allow its performance to be customised for individual applications. So why use liquid? Liquids have the same de-icing characteristics of rock salt. However, as they are applied in liquid form, the agent can begin to work immediately. The liquid de-icer doesn't need to be broken down by traffic like traditional rock salt, therefore making this a more suitable application for footways and cycle paths. The precise method of application of the liquid has significant environmental benefits and reduces damage to verges and street furniture. The option of the hand lance means that areas such as steps can be treated en route 
again, meaning maximum application time on the route. Econ has been leading the way in winter maintenance product innovation for over 50 years. If you would like to receive more information on Econ Trailer De-Icer Sprayer, please contact myself, Steve Sinnott or Kevin Yale, who will be happy to talk you through the product specification.